Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about hygiene slash girl talk type of vibes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and keep watching. This is for my young girls who don't have a mother figure in their life, but need guidance, need help. Got questions? I got answers. These are some tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way of being a woman and I just thought I'd share it with you guys and yeah oh quick side note I actually did my nails if you know you know I've been practicing yeah I'm actually pretty proud of how they came out so before I get into the video I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer Everything I'm saying is my opinion and things I've learned along the way. And before you try any of these things, any of these items, please check in with your doctor and make sure that it is okay for you. Once again, I am not telling you what to do. These are just tips and tricks that I thought I'd share. So let's start with number one. Things to use when washing. So as a woman, you know, you always have to make sure that you're staying clean, whether that be when you're on your monthly cycle or when you're not. So, when you're on your cycle, I advise you to take a shower. I take a shower personally minimum two times a day when I'm on my cycle. Minimum, okay? Because, you know, you feel, you feel dirty. If you don't consistently take showers, you know, you will start to smell. And, you know, you don't want that. So, it's better to just stay clean avoid any type of bv all of that you know so as for washing what i like to use are these if you are a girl please get this this will save your life this is an exfoliating glove um honestly i would say use this over a washcloth if you're a lady what I advise you to do is you know put the glove on and you just go in circles. And I promise you it is a lifesaver. So when exfoliating your skin, it's not only taking off the dead skin, but it's also brightening up your skin. Not only does it brighten up your skin, it actually prevents ingrown hairs. So I highly recommend this for any ladies who are really struggling. Definitely have this in your possession. I also use a loofah. So ladies, never, never use this in your private areas. These, honestly, they carry a lot of bacteria that should not be down there. And I would not recommend you using it for your lady parts. What I personally do, though, I use this for my limbs. So my arms, my legs, I use it as an exfoliating, kind of like washcloth type of thing. But obviously, it's the loofah. So what I usually do is I use this Lifesaver from Target. So when I'm in the shower, I usually go in with this, put it on here, and then I just exfoliate my legs, my arms. It will literally change your life. Not only does it smell a freaking amazing, it also makes your legs and arms really soft. Okay, girl, I'm trying to put you on. Also, not only do I use a loofah and exfoliating, but also always use a washcloth. I don't care how clean you think you are, Please go use a washcloth. This is As for soaps, I prefer Dove. My favorite scent is the blue fig and orange blossom scent. It looks like this. So this is my favorite scent. So again, I go in with this. Um, sometimes I use it on my loofah or I use it on my exfoliating glove. When you're washing your private areas, you should always use original non-scented Dove soap. I mean, you don't have to use duck soap, or you can use um, you can use body wash as well. I prefer the um, bar of soap because I just feel like I don't know something in my mind is just telling me that it's more reliable. Like I, I love to use body wash, but only on my arms and stuff like that, not on my you know private areas. So as for exfoliators, this the product I showed you guys earlier, 
this is actually an exfoliating exfoliating body wash so it's pink lemon and mandarin orange i love it because i feel like it personally makes my skin very soft see i have eczema so one thing about me is i love scent anything scented i love it for my skin but it can be very drying um so what i make sure i do is i make sure i i moisturize it really good after i take a shower because if i don't i will literally crack like a freaking egg so also another one i love is this one it's called it's by gold Harbor harvest it's called milk and honey body scrub salt glow this is amazing this is a lifesaver as many of you guys know hopefully ladies you know this you're always supposed to exfoliate before you shave because if you exfoliate you have a much better clean closer shave your shave will just be way better if you shave if you're a shaving type of girl i also have a few other ones that i don't have on me right now that i will show you so i will put my favorite exfoliating scrub on the screen right here it's called the award-winning smoothie star soap and glory and it has oats sugar and shea breakfast scrub and it smells straight like maple like maple syrup literally like i love it and it works so well it's not too rough on your skin it's just the right consistency for your nice clean close shave um as for the price it's $13.99 so you really ain't gotta break your buck this i'm pretty sure this is like $4.99 from target girl i'm really trying to push you on you really don't have to spend so much money to live a high maintenance life girl you don't have to spend a, a whole lot to just smell good and feel good you know what i mean you can do that on a budget babe don't let these people out here fool you so as for let's switch topics as for leaving and ex um and waxing personally i like waxing but let me show you so so i actually do my own waxing um, I shave here and there, but I am not a shaving type of girl. I do get ingrown, so that is not for me. But if you do shave, I always say exfoliate first, then go in with a really moisturizing, soft shave cream. This is my favorite one. It's by EOS. Super good. It's actually the Shea Butter. It literally feels like lotion. I love it so much. It's definitely really moisturizing. It helps you get that perfect clean shave without any annoying like You know sometimes when you use shaving cream it gives you like that weird after feel. No, you do not get that With shave that shaving cream girl. It literally feels like you just put lotion on your freaking legs like or conditioner <laughs> it Feels so good but for my ladies who are looking to save a buck or two but want to do keep up with your waxing and if you have a high pink tolerance this is for you so this is what i use so this is a an organic hair wax removal it's sugar basically it's a hard wax so what i do is i usually just use a giant popsicle stick you have to warm it up for like a few seconds then you know you take it out and it'll literally just be a little a little warm you should not melt it all away it'll be hot girl anyways you just apply it and then you can just use the stick and rip it it's very sticky so works wonders you can use it like a few times before you have to throw it away obviously obviously on yourself do not try this on anybody else and make sure before you get this you do your research before you get any of the product from letting me know about do your research so also i have another product for my ladies who like if you always shave your underarms and you tend to get dark or you have insecurities about like color pigmentation this product is what i would definitely recommend definitely recommend this it's called vanish pfb so with this you have to be very consistent with it you have to put it on every day um mainly after you shave and your skin will kind of start to peel a little bit not in like a painful way but it's kind of just taking off the top layer of skin so you know you can reveal your new layer of bright skin this is really i really recommend this for my ladies with the dark underarms if you're really insecure about it 
girl this will get you right i promise and then as for after shower skincare so what i personally do like i said i have eczema so i have to be very careful on what i put on my skin how i moisturize it after like lotion just doesn't work for me alone i have to use lotion with you know an oil a lotion with a cream you know it can't just be lotion alone because i literally feel so dry so if you have eczema you know about hydrocortisone um definitely a 10 out of 10 girl if you you itching girl you need to get you some go to your doctor and have him prescribe you some if you are if you have eczema i don't know if you guys know what eczema is if you don't go look it up so if i'm having a eczema breakout again um what i would do is i go with some hydrocortisone in that area and then i top it off with some lubriderm i've been using this since i've been a baby my parents used to use this on me since i've been a baby it's the only thing that literally like really moisturizes me like i can actually use this and not top it off with an oil and i'll be fine so the reason why i really like this is because it helps hydrate your skin it's for extra dry skin so it's really known a lot of people with eczema actually use this because it's very moisturizing so i'll show you what it looks like up close um yeah so i usually go in with some lubiter or any type of lotion of your choice get you some lubiter and then i usually top it off with some type of oil this is all i have on hand which is some regular baby oil and obviously in the shade cocoa butter scent because that's my type of style i love shea coconut vanilla that's my type of scent i'm not girl as for oils i also shea moisture also has this specific oil I'll put it on the screen super good it smells amazing and it's so moisturizing i love it so much if you guys have dry skin and you're looking to put on a really soft it's not a thick oil either it's very it's very light not doing the most like weighing you down especially if you take showers and you oil your skin before you go to bed and you don't want it all over your sheets and stuff it's a very light oil so it is really good for that so that is actually all for my hygiene topic i also wanted to touch on the basis of self-love and self appreciation you do like self self-love treatments or self-love baths every so often light a candle light some sage i do this personally i do it like every friday light a candle light some sage you know play soft music play soft music with no words so relaxing and just really you can, if your lights dim you can dim your lights just really relax do not be on your phone put on do not disturb for about 30 minutes you know and really just take that time and meditate i am very big on mental health and i do believe that you taking just 10 minutes out of your day to meditate makes a drastic difference you need to be in touch not only with your mind but your body and your soul so Yeah, sleep on the meditation, girl. Um, yeah, so make sure that you guys are drinking a lot of water. And like I said again, before you try any of these, make sure that you consult with your doctor first. I am not an esthetician. I am in school to be a cosmetologist, but as of right now, I am not licensed. So take what I say with a grain of salt. I am in school, like I said, so I'm learning about it, but I'm still not fully educated. These are just tips and tricks I've learned along the way. As a... 19 year old woman okay girl so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much thank you guys so much for watching and see you on my next one